Welcome to Fish on Fridays. I'm Al McCauley, and I am taping this particular episode in the month of May. And for Catholics, the month of May is Mary's month. And so what I want to do is spend some time talking about some of the teachings relative to our mother, to, to Mary. And um, But today I want to just lay the groundwork for the next two uh, episodes that will be coming forth about Mary. And, and really I need to do this because I want to make a distinction between two things that are often confused in our in our uh, vocabulary. And those two things are what is a doctrine and what is a dogma. Simply put, a doctrine is a, an official church teaching that we should take seriously, but it can change. And in fact, doctrines have changed over time. Um, a dogma, on the other hand, is a little higher up on the scale, if you will, and it is an official teaching that won't change, that won't be revoked or can't be revoked. So just by way of an example, if you're not aware of this, um, the church has been around for a little over 2,000 years. The first millennium, the first thousand years, uh, men had the choice of being married if they were to become priests. It's called optional celibacy. That was the, that was the doctrine. That was the teaching. That was official, that men could become priests. For a whole slew of reasons that would take several episodes to explain, um, that I won't explain now, um, that doctrine changed. And so for the last almost thousand years, we've not lived under the doctrine of optional celibacy for priests, but required celibacy, meaning they can't get married. So it changed. That's a teaching of the church that's taken seriously, that's understood, that's put into practice, but it can change. A dogma, as I said before, is something that can't change. It won't be revoked. And, and as you can imagine, there are fewer of those uh, because they're so serious and because they won't be changed. And they're really the non-negotiables of our faith. So to, so to say that Jesus rose from the dead is a dogma because that's pretty much part of the heart of what we believe as Christians, that Jesus rose from the dead. Um, I'm bringing this up relative to Mary because there are two dogmas in particular that have to do with Mary, and they, um, they're they very important and oftentimes misunderstood. So the next two episodes, I want to talk about them. One is the Immaculate Conception, and the other is the Assumption of Mary. But again, just to go back a little bit and, and set the stage for those two topics. In uh, 1869 to 1870, we had what's called the First Vatican Council. And everybody knows what the Second Vatican Council is, or at least has heard of it, but the First Vatican Council doesn't get as much publicity. But um, Pope Pius IX uh, was the Pope at the time. And among other things, the First Vatican Council determined that a Pope could speak what's called ex cathedra. That means out of the chair. That means it's an official proclamation or a dogma of the faith. And if the Pope speaks this way, it's considered infallible, meaning it can't be changed, it can't be revoked, it is not with error. And again, this is something that people have misunderstood for centuries. Well, at least since we've had the ruling, so at least for decades. To speak ex cathedra or infallibly, the Pope, it has to be something that the faithful have agreed upon and believed for centuries anyway. So the Pope is not just gonna randomly come out someday and say some goofy thing like, um, you can never eat meat again at all, any day. That would, that would be silly. Um, it has to be something only in the area of faith or morals, and it has to be something that was already widely understood and practiced and believed anyway. Interestingly, there's only two times in history that the church or a Pope has spoken infallibly or ex cathedra making these two things a dogma. And they are the Immaculate Conception of Mary and the Assumption of Mary, which is why I want to speak about those two in the next two episodes. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped clear up a little bit of confusion, if there was any. If you have any questions or comments or ideas for future uh, episodes, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Until uh, next time, be good to each other and God bless.